Hi. Um, I was just diagnosed with Lyme disease and um, I decided to record basically hopefully what will be my healing journey. Um, I have a late stage um, of Lyme's. I was bitten at was bitten a lot whenever I was younger, but um, the most recent bite was 18 months ago when I was pregnant with my daughter. Um, I have had fevers and co-infections for the past year. Um, I give had 15 high fevers, which usually takes me about a week or so to recover from um, in the past 11 months. With the last fever, I got severe tachycardia and um, really couldn't function at all. I went to stay with my mom uh, for a few days to help me, and um, she had me meet a urologist friend of hers. He confirmed that I had tachycardia, that I was very ill. Um, he ruled out kidney infection me, said to keep uh, my appointment I had scheduled earlier with my physician. So um, I went in a few days later to my appointment, and my physician, after hearing my history of autoimmune conditions, um, decided to run a lot of tests, my thyroid, uh, rheumatoid factor, um, uh, sed rate, um, he did a pelvic exam and culture, um, yeah, CBC, all that stuff. Um, my sed rate came back high, so, um, he wanted to test for an ANA. He believed that I had lupus. Um, in the office visit, I requested that he test for Lyme's disease, and, um, so he did. I don't think he really thought I had Lyme's, um, but I, I do. I tested positive. Um, he called me personally and told me a, he sounded surprised. Um, and he prescribed a 21-day course of amoxicillin three times a day, 500 milligrams, three times a day. And um, I just thought in my head that doesn't seem like that's going to do much. I don't really respond to oral antibiotics very well. I usually get secondary infections after taking them. Um, I usually, just for UTIs, require IV antibiotics um, as an adult. So I questioned that immediately and um, started to look into some things. I um, announced on a couple of Facebook groups that I'm on uh, for school and immediately a classmate of mine gave me information. Um, so my my symptoms are pretty bad. I have um, dysautonomia. Um, I have Tourette's syndrome. I have Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. I have um, tachycardia. I have um, just difficulty walking right now um, yeah it's pretty much every system of my body right now is being affected um, pretty severely so I need immediate treatment um, and there's no Lyme literate medical doctors in Arkansas or my area so luckily my friend um, gave me information and I spent all day yesterday calling and calling different doctors all over the country. Uh, no one called me back but her doctor actually and um, that was a huge blessing. I was in the ER whenever they called. Um, my own my doctor's office told me to go to the ER um, to be admitted through the ER and that my doctor would come and um, treat me it's basically, the, from the information I'd found out from family members who are medical professionals, I needed to be in the hospital being observed with the PICC line. 
in with IV antibiotics like yesterday. <laughs> um, so uh, that didn't happen. I, the ear doctor was kind of confused why I was there. I told him, you know, my doctor's office told me to come here. Um, I think just for liability reasons, looking back now. Um, and so the doctor couldn't get a hold of my doctor's office, not even a, <clears throat> not even the doctor, but like not even the staff at the office. I guess his practice is just so busy. And, um, he basically came back and said, okay, I want to help you. I'm an ER doctor. Like I deal with immediate Lyme's cases, not long-term like you have. And, um, but he said he wanted to help me with my um, symptoms that I was having. I was uh, having a lot of tremors and tachycardia. And, um, so he gave me a bag of sodium chloride in uh, IV, and he gave me a little antibiotic, I, a very high-dose IV antibiotic, and I forget the name. I took a picture of it, but... Um, then he also gave me two milligrams of Valium to help relax my muscles for my tremors. Um, it didn't stop the tremors really or the cramps. And um, it kind of like, I only allowed them to give me two milligrams. They wanted to give me 10. <laughs> um, and I was like, couldn't lift my head. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I did feel better after the IV though. It did help a lot, and and I think uh, I talked to one of my teachers, and she said I was in what's called nacronemia, uh, where my body wasn't able to absorb um, minerals that it needed. So I really did need the IV, and I wish I could get another one, but I don't think I can. Um, so the doctor told me not to drink any water that, for whatever reason, um, I wasn't able to, um, like, stay, like, keep the minerals that I needed, and water would just uh, lower that and make it bad, and I would have more tremors. So, um, so I've been drinking electrolyte drinks, which I know aren't the best things in the world. Um, I know I look like crap right now. I feel like crap. I've lost a lot of weight. Um, I am have an appointment for Tuesday next week in, uh, to see the LLMD, and I'm hoping to get tested and treated. I still have my placenta from my last daughter, and I'm going to get it tested. I'm bringing it with us, and I'm bringing both my girls with me to get tested and treated if they need it, um, but they both show symptoms, so wish me luck, and... I will post another video um, when I know more, when I get more information. Thanks. Bye.